Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see what is the end user experience for Windows 365 or Cloud PC service, right? Okay, now there are two, two options, right? First thing is you can manage a um, lot of things from web client that is nothing but windows 365.microsoft.com if you click on that it will no normally it will ask for your username and password right uh, i have already logged in in this tab that is why it didn't ask me for the username and password right and you can check your username and password over here from this button on the right side of your browser so what is the basic requirement or minimum requirement uh, for having cloud PC connectivity from any of your devices right that is HTML 5 based web browser otherwise you can access it from any of the rich client or native client applications like Microsoft remote desktop applications okay so let's have a quick walkthrough of this end user portal for, for windows 365 or cloud pc okay so you can see there are two two options here uh, you can download the um, a remote desktop client rich client for windows from this and you can take a tour of this portal itself right so we are in home page at the moment and before going into these details let me quickly show you uh, the other button in this web portal and that is download kind of a button and if you click on that you can see like uh, from where you can download all the Microsoft remote desktop applications right for Windows Mac OS iOS and Android and as you can see that this is very useful right you can you can get a get subscription URL right uh, you you can get subscription URL when I when I launch uh, are declined and if I if I click on workspace I can provide you subscription URL and you can I can try to log in with that so I'm not going to show that now uh, in this video uh, but uh, my main focus is on the web client in this video right for Microsoft sorry my Windows 365 or cloud PC okay so this is the main area right at the moment uh, you have assigned PC cloud PC or Windows personal desktop to this particular user okay so that is why you can see only one icon over here otherwise you would if you have for example if you have assigned two uh, personal desktops for some reason then you would see a similar icon over here also right and as you can see this is very very user friendly and you can see the uh, details uh, to see vcpu 8 gigabytes of ram and um, 128 gigabytes of storage i know like probably some of the organization might um, or would like to hide this information because um, I have seen some discussions like uh, maybe the end user might discuss a bit between their colleagues and they will ask for better configuration if uh, some for some reason if their colleagues are getting better configuration or something that is that is not there at the moment probably it might come or it might not come I don't know <laughs> we'll wait and see uh, other option over here is the settings button right so this is basically name of of the cloud PC right and you can click on the settings and you can see a restart button over here if you click on restart button it will automatically restart this cloud PC from hypo hypervisor la layer right and that is pretty useful and I'm missing this kind this feature from Azure virtual desktop uh, web clients or uh, are declined right and you have an option to uh, change the name right this is the default name and if, if I want I can put cloud PC one uh, and 
and rename it right but uh, the, you need to follow some rules uh, naming standards um, so you need to take care of that if you are changing the name at this point of time I'm not going to change the name and the third option is troubleshoot right troubleshooting connections uh, when, you, when you click on troubleshoot option it will uh, troubleshoot on uh, the connection it will check the connection and it will say probably okay no issues found etc right and to launch the cloud pc what you have to do is basically you need to click on open brow open in browser and that will launch uh, the cloud pc or windows personal desktop okay and and you can just log in this is because uh, the second um, login is because the only supported scenario for enterprise uh, windows 365 enterprise is basically hybrid azure ad joint right that is why you see all uh, the second um, login right otherwise um, if if it's a azure ad join if you are azure ad join then probably you you will get um, SSO. That was that was a quick video I wanted to share with you. Uh, so this is Windows 365 web client uh, user end user experience video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.